burglars outwit guard dog before robbing house. A guard dog's main duty on watch is to safeguard the house from unsavory characters who may threaten the life or possessions of its owner. They are trained to instill fear in the hearts of trespassers and make them wish they'd chosen a different career path. Unfortunately, this is one guard dog that clearly didn't pay attention in class, and a couple of burglars in Peoria, Arizona were quick to take advantage. On December 8th, the unidentified man and woman pulled up to the house in their Chevy Impala and parked in the driveway. After knocking on the door and realizing no one was home, the man then hopped over the wall and proceeded into the backyard. He didn't show up empty-handed, carrying a special weapon to neutralize the threat of a potential security guard. Dog treats! And they worked like a charm. Luring the unsuspecting canine out through the doggy door, the man then squeezed his way into the small flap door and proceeded to ransack the home, stealing multiple goods with ease. One by one, the thieves carried the furniture to the car as the dog watched, clearly wondering what his new friends were doing with all his owner's stuff. When they finished packing up the loot, the pooch must have been even more confused as he watched them speed away, leaving him behind to clean up the mess. Luckily, a neighbor spotted the dog and returned him to his owners. Someone's gonna have plenty of explaining to do when his family gets home. Police are asking for the public's help to track down the two criminals, but we know one eyewitness who can't be relied on for help. Here are some more stories about crafty burglars. Police search for five guys, Hamburglar in Washington, D.C. Police are on the lookout for this guy. No, we mean this guy. An unidentified male, an aspiring burger chef who broke into this Five Guys restaurant in the Columbia Heights neighborhood of Washington, D.C. Watch the video. First, you see our hungry Hamburglar rummaging around the soft drinks. The incident is believed to have taken place sometime after 3 a.m. on March 18th. Now you'll see our burger burglar fire up the grill. Watch closely. That looks like two hamburger patties with cheese. A double cheeseburger. Is that some sort of secret menu? Police say the suspect snuck in after a delivery person left, and they're offering a reward of up to $1,000 for a tip that leads to his arrest. Texas homeowner kindly gives burglar an extra hole in his head. This looks like a good house to rob. No, yeah, there's probably all kinds of cool stuff in here. Yeah, should be a walk in the park. Yeah, everyone knows Texas folks are sissies anyway. Yeah, I'll rob this house. Bad choice. An unidentified suspect in San Antonio, Texas gets points for being nimble after he allegedly squeezed through the doggy door of a house along Vanderbilt Street Thursday morning and began searching for valuables. At about 10 a.m., however, Mr. Homeowner decided to come home. Noticing his belongings scattered around the house, he grabbed his trusted 40 caliber. And introduced himself, Texas style. Of the three or four shots fired, one made a meaningful connection with the home invader's head. Doggy door robber zero, 40 caliber bullet one. Transported to San Antonio Military Medical Center, the suspect underwent several major operations, but it's not looking good. Charges are unlikely, as Texas's Castle Doctrine law means if you're in my house for no good reason, I have a good reason to shoot you. Is there anybody out there who thinks this homeowner was in the wrong? Brazilian robbers wrap themselves in tinfoil to avoid alarm system. Remember that awesome Rio de Janeiro heist and chase sequence from Fast Five? Well, this attempted robbery is absolutely nothing like that. Rather than going all Ethan Hunt and pulling Mission Impossible Cirque du Soleil, these two Brazilian bank robbers this weekend wrapped themselves in tinfoil in a bid to avoid alarm sensors. Surprisingly, the kooky plan worked, but the spacey duo were still picked up on CCTV. And seeing this, security at Banco do Brasil in Prada Grande called the cops. However, the would-be tinfoil burglars escaped in a white sports car and are reportedly still on the run. Although the cops did make an arrest and are questioning a third suspect believed to be the duo's lookout who was hiding in the bushes nearby. So it looks like this case can't be wrapped up uh, just yet. Pregnant woman uses pink handgun to stop a burglar. A pregnant Alabama woman put her Second Amendment rights to good use last week when she opened fire at a burglar who was rummaging around inside her home. 
According to local reports, the suspect broke into Marquita Turner's home at around 2.20 a.m. last Friday. The homeowner, who's five months pregnant, was awoken by the noise and nervously left her bedroom, armed with a pink Millennium 9 handgun. According to Turner, she saw the intruder in the hallway and decided to take action. She fired two or three shots, only one of which actually hit the burglar, but it was enough to injure him. He was later taken to hospital. After the incident, Turner started a GoFundMe page in the hopes that sympathetic members of the public might be willing to chip in so she can find a new and presumably safer place to live. 